how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Uh, we are actually at my in-laws right now. Usually when we're going on a trip, don't mind my eyebrows, I have to do them. I still fill them in, but usually when we're going on a trip, I kind of plan out my videos. So I had the video set for the previous week and we we're supposed to be home by now. So I don't have any videos for this week. So I thought, let me just do like a casual vlog style, hang out with me and share what I got on Prime Day from Amazon. Just kind of like share everything that I got, some beauty things, some fashion items. And I don't know, just hang out. So if you guys are interested in this video, then just keep watching. But I do have to do my eyebrows right now. So one of the things that I got is this travel mirror here. And I've seen like a few people talk about it. I just never got around to buying it from myself. And then on Prime Day, I'm like, you know what? It's on sale. Prime Day is the best time to either buy stuff that you've been eyeing that's on sale or to stock up on stuff that you love like some favorites i have like some beauty favorites i stocked up on because they're on sale so might as well get them while they're on sale but i've seen a few people talk about this mirror and i was like you know what i've been meaning to get it let me just buy it since it's on sale and it's nice because it kind of like flips open and you put it on the table and then you can really do your makeup and see everything and it has three different light setting modes and i think you can make it dimmer if you want to yeah you can but i just thought it was really cool and it's really helpful for like when I'm traveling and you want to do your makeup, it'd be really great even for lashes. But I wanted to save this portion and do my um, brows because I have to fill in my brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I like to use, I did tint them before I went on a trip. I even had my nails done, but I ended up taking them off because they were like bothering me. I had my nails done, I tinted my brows, did my lashes. And it's been a week for my lashes, so I had to redo those as well but it makes it so much easier when you kind of like have your lashes done your brows tinted and you're just kind of touching up throughout the week you kind of like wake up and go you don't really have to worry about it so this is why i love um doing things like that like diy lashes tinting my eyebrows laminating them just makes my life so much easier in my opinion and learning how to do it yourself you can save a lot of money but let me go ahead and fill these guys in real quick and then continue with this little mini Amazon haul. By the way, the machine that I was using, that's my old Cafe Affetto. We have a lot of our stuff here in storage. So when we moved full time into the RV, we put a lot of stuff in storage, sold a few things, but 90% of our stuff is here in my in-laws. So I'm like, let me check out my coffee machine, just make sure it works. So I've been kind of using it here and then I wanna go through some of my purses. Cause I, when we were moving into the RV, I'm like, I'm not gonna need half of these purses or these shoes. Like we're gonna be at state parks. Where am I gonna be dressing up where I'm gonna need half of these purses? And now that we're done traveling, all my stuff was here. And I'm like, let me take off some of these things down south with me now that i finally have the chance but the reason why we came here well you know what let me just talk about why we're here to begin with is because we bought a car and all of our cars we buy on auction we bought our rv the same way if you're familiar with it then you'll kind of know what i'm talking about and a lot of the auction cars they're hit so some of them are hit more than others like they've been in an accident or something it's like a whole thing but you get more bang for your book that way buying an auction versus pre-owned or used and my husband like Slavics do it all the time. We buy cars on auction, fix them up. My, all of our cars, we had a Suburban, our truck, basically all of our cars. My husband would like get someone to pull out the frame, paint it, and then he'd do the rest. So he's doing that right now and hopefully I can drive back on my new car because we've been RVing so we only have the truck and sold all our other cars. And now that we've kind of settled down, I need a car because my husband's traveling back and forth to the land and I have no car. So we kind of came here to Philly to do that because there's a trusted guy that he trusts that does a really good job for a really good price as well. So it's kind of, and then we also haven't seen family for a whole year. So when we moved, it's been a whole year since we've seen family. So we figured might as well kind of like visit family at the same time. It would just be really nice, like make a whole trip out of it. So that's kind of the backstory behind how we got here. My kids are sleeping in this room. I was going to film in my husband's childhood room, but the lighting is like the best in here, so I stuck to this room. But let me go through some things that I got. I've been meaning to try the Bioderma Micellar Water. I heard it's really great to start with when you're removing your makeup, kind of like a pre-cleanse, if you will. So I've been using this, and then I'll go in with my regular cleanser. So that's why I bought it. It was on sale, I think $13 or something, and I got the one for dehydrated sensitive skin. Even when it wasn't on sale, I had it in my cart. But then I was like, you know what? Prime Day's coming up. Let me wait for Prime Day. So 
Prime Day is over obviously, but Black Friday is coming up. So if you have any big purchases, um, sometimes a lot of stuff goes on sale for Black Friday. But I did share a lot of stuff on my Instagram. If you guys follow that, I have like a lot of stuff that I shared for Prime Day. I feel like everyone and their mom did at this point though. I stocked up on some of my favorite eye gels. These are the Patchology Surf Chill. And the reason why I like these, they're jelly, like your typical jelly patches, but they have great ingredients. Oops. And these I pop in the freezer and let them get cold you can leave them overnight if you wanted to they're not going to freeze freeze and then when you put them on in the morning under your eyes it feels so good it's literally a game changer so try it with your regular gels but these i just really like this one has like strawberry extract this one has orange extract this one has resveratrol hyaluronic acid and this one has resveratrol and niacinamide so really great ingredients i've been really liking them and then i picked up some olaplex olaplex had really great sales not like really great but pretty decent usually olaplex doesn't go on sale and they do sell on Amazon. So I got their blonde purple shampoo here since I do have blonde hair. And this stuff, like it stained my palms. Sorry, my kids are like playing, but like my palms were stained. And I'm like, oh, this is like a toner. Um, only for like a little bit, it went away, but I'm like, this stuff must be intense. So I like the smell. It's a very different consistency from other products I've tried. And then it's Olaplex. So I feel like so far I really like it. And then I picked up the oil since I've been always wanting to try the oil. I'm kind of running low on my way one. And I think it's nice. Also, nice pleasant smell. Olaplex is Olaplex. Um, very easy to travel with, so I like that it has like a smaller bottle. So I just picked it up on sale. And then I got the Laneige Lip Balm Cream here. This is their Lip Glowy Balm, and I got the Gummy Bear Purple one. It's not actually purple purple. I actually really like the color. I kind of have some lip products on right now, but let me apply this on top. It smells really nice, and this was on sale too, so I'm like, you know what? Let me buy this and try it. Laneige had a few products that were on sale. And it smells really good very yummy i've been loving like balmy lip oils products like that so i just like to keep them in different purses and things like that so pick this up a lot of the items i got were gifted from amazon beauty since i do work with amazon beauty so i picked them out myself and they were gifted through their program i got to pick them out myself though and then i kind of like try them out what i like i share about since i do partner with amazon beauty just want to throw that out there but like the fashion items and stuff i got myself and then i also picked up the brazilian bum bum cream from sol de janeiro i have been seeing so much about this like how it smells amazing and the sprays all over tiktok and i'm like you know what it's on sale let me go ahead and buy it and try it i'm not one that likes a sweet scent and this does have a sweet scent but it's very subtle sweet mixed in with like tropical coconut paradise scent it's just really nice smell very pleasant i can't speak for the firming effects i mean i haven't used it enough to know but i do like the smell and it actually lingers on me i know some people say it doesn't last for me it lasts all day like i accidentally got it in a sweater and i haven't washed it yet because i've been wearing the sweater non-stop and i can still smell it on the sweater and this is the only product that someone has been like, like my sister-in-law would be sitting with me and she's like, what is that smell? It smells so good. And I'm like, it's the bum bum cream. I'm telling you, it's just like, it smells like summer and it's just, it's really nice. So if you've been meaning to try it, I feel like it is worth trying. They say the Trader Joe's one is similar, but I don't have, I've never been to Trader Joe's, believe it or not. So I don't know. I can't say, but if I ever get my hands on it, I'd love to compare. So that's kind of like the beauty items. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I am, I linked everything to my Amazon Prime Day list. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested to shop. It's obviously best to get them on sale, but that's just kind of my first impression reviews and thoughts on that. And then I got some fashion items. So I got this really cute two-piece knit set and I'll try to insert a video of me trying it on in my sister-in-law's room of what it looks like and um it's just a very cozy comfortable great to lounge, lounge around when round when lounge around in it's kind of like a waffle knit it's very light so you can wear it in the summertime as well if you want to I've been wearing it around here it has like the wide leg bottom and then the top has slits on the side you can tuck it in it has these wooden type wooden look buttons just very comfortable cozy I love two-piece sets that are like more on the loose side I love loose clothing I love being comfortable being comfortable for me is like everything so this like fit the bill for me and it was like 34 dollars. so I was like you know why not I'm gonna try it out and then from the same brand I picked out this knit sweater which i have been wearing non-stop the material is like barefoot dreams probably not as soft though i would say but it's super cozy i feel like this would be perfect for the fall time but i wear it in the summertime with like biker shorts i've been wearing it and i also have these knit shorts that i got from amazon the drop this is the main reason why i got the black color but i'd love to get like the white one for the fall time to wear with jeans or something i don't know why it's so bright what's going on with my camera but super super cozy i feel like so many people have this and love it and i can see why so would definitely recommend if you love like a really cozy knit the sweater is just 
so good. And then I picked up some Levi's. These I snagged for $35. I got a size up because some people were saying that they were super tight at the waist and now I kind of regret it because I feel like they're a little bit too loose for my liking and I went to go see if I can exchange them, return them, but it went up to like 50, 60 bucks and I'm like, man, I'm just gonna keep them. I'll start a video of what it looks like out of me, just like a nice, very loose fit. Kind of gives like tomboy vibes, something Hailey Bieber would wear right now. But I don't know, I've just been really liking it with like a nice little white ribbed top or something. So pick these up and I love the denim color. I have so many shorts from Amazon. I actually wanna do like, a, I would say like 75% of my closet is probably from Amazon at this point. There's just so many great items. And then Pumi, the brand Pumi, which is kind of like a Skims brand, the Amazon version. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Skims selling at Amazon. The composition is the same. It'll be like 90% this, you know, 10% that or whatever. For example, this one is, all right, this one says 76% polyamide, 24% elastane. And I feel like, I think someone did like a review on TikTok or something saying like Skims is basically the same thing. Super, super buttery soft, but at the same time, it offers so much compression. I have two of their bodysuits. I have a long sleeve one. I have a sleeveless one. I have the dress, but the dress wasn't very flattering on me. I'll insert a photo here if I don't forget. I don't know. It just It's not like for my body type, so I'm kind of like on the fence. I want to return it. I don't want to keep something in my closet and make my body fit the dress. Like I want the clothes to fit me. I don't want it to be the other way around. So I might return it. I'm probably going to return it. But it is so soft. And then this t-shirt is like a great staple. Very compressive. I got it in a size small. I probably could have gotten away with a medium just because it's like kind of tight. But it's just really nice. Very comfortable. Great basic to have. I've been eyeing it for a while. So I'm really glad that I got to get on sale but that's kind of everything I don't I don't think I forgot anything again yeah, Amazon Prime Day is like the best time to buy either big ticket items I think the Apple watch was the most it was the first time on Prime Day first time Prime Day deal and it was the most discounted that it's been I think the Apple 8 both sizes I think it was like 279 I had it in my cart and I'm like yeah I don't need it so I just decide not to get it but there were just so many great deals vacuums that's one of the top items that goes on sale tvs and then beauty items are just great to buy stock up on things like that and then sometimes fashion items but i think like fashion items some of these items regularly go on sale so it's not like oh wow that's like a great sale whereas like olaplex they almost never have sales you know um so yeah i just thought i would do like a vlog style chatty video catch you guys up what's going on because i don't have any videos for this week unfortunately i might do like a how i style my hair with a shark this is probably like day three hair so it's just kind of i've had it in a braid i sleep with it in a braid but tomorrow i'm probably going to wash it and then show you guys how i style it with the shark because i feel like if you have extensions or if you have longer thicker hair having the shark is just an amazing investment in my opinion so maybe i'll do that so that'll be another video, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini Amazon Prime haul. I'll link anything down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.